Putting the brakes on street racing, how law enforcement is trying to crack down on street racers. Thank you for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. Pat Paris has the evening off. Uh, chances are street racers have roared by you, giving you a serious scare, even killed someone you know. Now there's a statewide effort to stop the racers and the danger they bring to the road. Kega 9 on your sides, Craig Smith reports. Law enforcement and lawmakers say the number of street racers is zooming and accelerating the risk to us all. When officers tell me they interview these guys after they catch them, these alleged street racers, and they just tell them that they're, they're, they're not going to stop. They get a high off of doing this and they're addicted to it. State Senator Paul Boyer is working to pass a law to fight street racing that would apply statewide. Part of it would use a tactic that worked well in Phoenix. Get busted and police take the car you love for up to a week and they would not have to wait for a court to convict you. I mean, think about it in any criminal um, you know, alleged criminal activity, like so, for example, with a gun, an officer can take the gun. In fact, they can hold that um, piece of, of property for the entirety of the court hearing as evidence. In this case, the, the evidence is the, the car. It's easy for innocent drivers to get caught in the danger, including the director of the governor's office of highway safety. I'm telling you, Craig, I've seen uh, drag racing on my way home from 7th Avenue in the middle of rush hour, okay? Which all of a sudden two or two cars trying to change lanes so they can do some racing. That's insane. This night video from the Pima County Sheriff's Department shows how racers take over the streets and even block roads to interfere with law enforcement. This incident in January led to 48 arrests. So far this year, the Sheriff's Department has worked 70 street racing cases. Highway Safety Director Gutierrez says cases like this show how tough enforcement in one place shifts street racers to new areas. He has sent out almost a half million dollars in grants to help departments have more officers on the streets to break up street racing before drivers hit the gas. In some cases, by the time these street racers organize themselves and trying to go to a particular intersection, guess who's there? The officers are already there with marked or marked units. But that also means law enforcement must infiltrate social networks where racers tell each other where the next race will be. And racers are working harder to cover their tracks. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side. Arizona ranks second in the country when it comes to street racing. In our state, 28 out of every 100,000 drivers have been caught street racing. The national average is nine. Virginia comes in at number one with 32 per 100,000. Now let's dive deeper into how speeding creates dangerous conditions on our roads. This is data from ADOT's 2019 motor vehicle crash report. Now drivers going too fast for conditions accounts for the second highest cause of crashes in our state. And the third highest cause of deadly crashes of 255,000 crashes in 2019, about 44,000 or 17 percent of them are attributed to speeding. And with Memorial Day weekend starting tomorrow, let's continue to dive deeper into the dangers on the road. Also from the 2019 ADOT report, it shows during Memorial Day weekend there were 13 deadly crashes. The holiday weekend tied with 4th of July for the most crashes. Out of those 13 crashes, only two were related to alcohol. 